It's another bitterly cold morning where we'll need all the warm layers and the winter accessories as temperatures are starting off in the single digits, if not below zero. And that's what we're seeing right now in Monticello. Meanwhile, for Lexington, also into Richmond, even over into Jackson right now, we're sitting at seven degrees. But when you factor in even just a light breeze at this hour, we are seeing those sub zero wind chills that will be holding over the next couple of hours. But slowly but surely, with the help of a good deal of sunshine, we're going to be warming things up nicely, at least compared to the past couple of days. By lunchtime, we'll already be in the 20s. That's warmer than what our high temperature was yesterday. And we'll continue to warm closer to freezing as we look towards your Thursday afternoon. And things are quiet. Again, on our Max Track Live Doppler, all the snow has finally moved away, with the exception of what's falling right now in the coastal areas of North Carolina. That clipper system is just persistent. It doesn't want to move off the shore just yet. But back here at home, we are under the firm influence of high pressure, which is across the lower Mississippi River Valley, which is actually going to be helping not just our sky conditions that will in turn melt some of the ice and snow, but it's also going to help to warm things up over the next couple of days. So our future track looks pretty quiet because it's going to be quiet over the next few days with lots of sunshine along with that southwesterly wind. The sunshine and that new flow is going to be allowing temperatures to start to gradually warm up as we look towards the weekend. Lots of sunshine again tomorrow. You will begin to notice some changes throughout the day on Saturday as this milder air will eventually be pooling in some moisture, which will bring back the clouds and then we'll be tracking rain showers. Look towards it late in the day on Sunday and continuing into to Monday. So we are sending that bitter cold packing finally and now introducing some milder air that we haven't really seen for at least an extended period of time so far this January. Of course, we got those two record setting days last week, but it looks like this January thaw is going to be lasting a little while longer. Highs today still below average as we'll sit in the low to mid 30s, but then tomorrow we're as normal as normal can get. 41 for a high, then we'll jump into the 50s over the weekend. In fact, we'll max out pushing the mid to even upper 50s in some spots towards Sunday. But then once the rain moves in on Monday, that will be cooling us off gradually into next week. But still, the overall trend is going to keep us near to, if not slightly above average, even into next week. So today that warming trend gets uh, started. Not as cold today, 34 for a high with mostly sunny skies. Into the afternoon, though, with that slight wind coming in out of the southwest, it's going to make it feel about 10 degrees colder, but certainly better than what we have been seeing over the past few days. Tonight, we're just seasonally cold. Lows will be in the upper teens near 20 degrees. The skies will be staying clear. Then as we look towards the weekend, probably a good day to get outside and enjoy the day on Saturday as we see increasing clouds ahead of those late day rain showers on Sunday, which will bring our high temperatures down slowly into early next week. Rain will be likely on Monday. Highs still, though, running in the mid 50s. Then we're right back into the 40s as early as Tuesday. As you've seen these showers starting to taper off. But unfortunately, by this time next week, the 30s may be back in town. But overall, just look ahead to the weekend. That's some nice stuff there. <laughs>